Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Prince of Peace. Please stand. I, the Lord of sea and sky, I have heard my people cry, all who dwell in dark and sin, my hand will save. Find his bread I will provide Till their hearts be satisfied All who bear my light to them Whom shall I send? Here I am, Lord Is it I, Lord? I have heard In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mystery. I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. This moment of silence, 
I invite all of you to offer your intentions for this Holy Mass. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. And make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us be nourished by the Word of God in this time. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, be kind to one another, compassionate, forgiving one another as God has forgiven you in Christ. Be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love. As Christ loved us and handed himself over for us as a sacrificial offering to God for a, fragment, for a fragrant aroma. Immorality or any impurity or greed must not even be mentioned among you. As is fitting among holy ones, no obscenity or silly or suggestive talk, which is out of place, but instead, thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no immoral or impure or greedy person, that is, an idolater, has an inheritance in kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the disobedient. So do not be associated with them, for you were once darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Live as children of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Behave like God as his very de dear children. Behave like God as his very dear children. Bless the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Behave like God as his very dear children. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season, and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Behave like God as his very dear children. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Behave like God as his very dear children. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. Glory to Lord. you, O Lord. Jesus was teaching in a synagogue on the Sabbath. And a woman was there who for 18 years had been crippled by a spirit. She was bent over, completely incapable of standing erect. When Jesus saw her, he called to her and said, Woman, you are set free of your infirmity. He laid his hands on her, 
And she at once stood up straight and glorified God. But the letter of the synagogue, indignant that Jesus had cured on the Sabbath, said to the crowd in reply, There are six days when work should be done. Come on those days to be cured, not on the Sabbath day. The Lord said to him in reply, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath unite his ox or his ass for the manure and let it out for watering? This daughter of Abraham, who Satan has bound for 18 years now, had a sin now to have been set free on the Sabbath day from this bondage. When he said this, all his adversaries were humiliated, and the whole crowd rejoiced all at the splendid deeds done by him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. May the reading of this Holy Gospel forgive us our sin. Amen. And let us pray. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kill in them the fire of your love. Send for your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Thank you for being here. All those people that are in media, welcome to the sanctuary dedicated to the Prince of Peace. Thank you for connecting us through this social media, and God bless you all. Lord, thank you for your mercy and love, which are given freely to those who are in need and to those who ask for these graces. Your mercy and love know no bounds. In today's gospel, Jesus shows us that God does not rest from showing his mercy and love. He declared that the Sabbath was a day in which good should be done. If strict Jewish regulations allow for the feeding of animals on the Sabbath, why not the healing of sick persons? We should understand the spirit of the law, which is God's intent for Sabbath observance. Christ's example reminds us that the Sabbath is an appropriate time to visit the sick and the elderly, helping them celebrate the day of renewal on their life's journey. As Christians, we are called to imitate Christ to the best of our ability. Let us pray today for the grace to have a heart for one another and the courage to do so, not only when it is convenient, but also when it is not. Let our prayer be, Lord, show me how can I bring your mercy and healing love to those in need his name. Amen. The living word of God proclaimed in our midst gives us the courage to gather our needs, that the church and her leaders may be authentic witnesses to the love and presence of God. We pray to the Lord. 
Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That governmental officials and the leaders of nations may be selfless in their efforts to bring about justice and peace for all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the young may strive to lead lives based on positive values and may find in us good examples of Christian living, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who suffer in any way may find solace through the ministry of the Christian community, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the gift of human life be treasured by all people, guarded by law, and respected by all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. For those who have died in our community, that they will enter eternal life in company with all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Glory, hear our prayer. O oh God, you know our hearts. You are a refuge and earnest strength. Hear the prayers of your church. You yourself are the source of all devotion. In grant we pray that what we ask you in faith we may truly obtain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, my dear family, that your sacrifice in mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept this sacrifice, sacrifice as your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for our, our good, good and the good of all his the church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be directed about all to your glory. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father and Most Holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the Word to whom you made all things, and you sent us as our Savior and Redeemer, Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He treated out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon the lucky deal of all, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed during the world into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In 
in a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be for all, for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, when we eat this bread and, and drink this cup, cup we, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And we would pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread through all the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy, remember your servant, Anthony Blake. You have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a day like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died, your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. A mercy and us all we pray with the blessing of your Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through all the ages. We may marry to be heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory, and the glory are yours, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who you said to your apostles, peace I'll leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace prudently. Take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. <laughs> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. In the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, do not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter Lord. under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed.
the love we have for you, O Lord, is only a shadow of your love for us, only a shadow of your love for us, your deep abiding love, the bread we take and eat, O oh Lord, is your body broken and shared with us, your body broken and shared with us, the gift of your great love our lives are in your hands our lives are in your hands our love for you will grow oh lord your life in us will shine our own belief in you O oh Lord is only a shadow of your faith in us only a shadow of your faith in us your deep and lasting faith our lives are in your hands our lives are in your hands our love for you will grow oh lord your light in us will shine. It's time. I invite all of you to as the intercession of our Holy Mother for our government for this coming election. Let us pray for all of them. May the Lord give the wisdom that comes from the Holy Spirit in order to guide our nation and the people for the common good. So let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Bless her thou thou among women. women. And, and blessed blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray, pray for, for us sinners, sinners now, now and in the hour, hour of death. our death. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace and announce the gospel of the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. God bless you all. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news that God
God is in our land And they'll know we are Christians by our love By our love Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love